in the previous video we had discussed regarding a tinea corporis case with type 2 diabetes mellitus and this video we will discuss regarding the differential diagnosis of the lesion whenever we discuss differential diagnosis um, clinically this is a very important point to differentiate we have to take one component of uh, the condition today uh, i will differentiate this tinea corporis with uh, one component that is red scaly eruption you can remember from the previous video the lesion was erythematous and was mildly scaly so that point will be taken today and will be differentiated with common conditions first among those conditions is psoriasis so we know psoriasis how much it is common but sometimes the lesion is atypical due to topical applications by the patient or due to some other modifying factors the lesion will be atypical but you can see on your screen there are two lesions uh, there are uh, uh, two patients uh, one patient with erythematous lesion multiple erythematous lesions with irregular shape another patient with uh, erythematous lesion with erythematous plaques with silvery white scales so this is typically case of psoriasis in tinea corporis you don't find any silvery white scales it is like only an erythematous lesion single or multiple lesion which is mildly scaly this is one important point another point is this is on extensor surfaces psoriasis typically affects on extensor surfaces and tinea corporis usually affects on the trunk and and the limbs there is no there is no such special predisposition for extensor surfaces like psoriasis another important test at bedside to confirm psoriasis everybody knows this test this is gratis test and auspice sign you can see on your screen the auspice sign so the you have to scrape the lesion you take it a sterile glass slide you scrape the lesion you will get lot of scales the scales coming up uh, and after the scales you will get a thin membrane that is called berkeley membrane you remove the membrane from the surface you will get punctured bleeding spots that is known as auspice sign so that is one important sign to conclude the case of psoriasis rest depends on the patient's history and all one more image you can see on your screen you can see uh, there are multiple lesions with central clearance this is looking like tinea corporis with raised edges this is not exactly tinea corporis this is uh, a healing psoriatic plaque the center is clear the healing starts from the center in psoriasis so that's why the center is clear here so this is a close differential diagnosis with tinea corporis there will be pruritus in both the conditions in psoriasis you may not find uh, pruritus in some cases remissions and relapses are important in psoriasis another differential diagnosis with tinea corporis is uh, very common condition eczema or dermatitis uh, this is not all eczemas so we are discussing one point na? so that is uh, red scaly lesion you can see on your screen two types of uh, lesions here so one is uh, this uh, uh, coin shaped lesions on your left coin shaped lesions erythematous and coin shaped lesions this is typically called as numular eczema this is uh, intensely itchy condition which is seen on the trunks and the limbs this is less sharply demarcated and you can see the fine scales which is difficult to remove psoriasis the scales will be large and silvery white and here it is erythematous and itchy like tinea corporis but here you can see coin shaped lesions with no central clearance and you can always have a history of allergy in the patient either respiratory allergy or a family history of allergy in the patient so that is called as atopicity the ringworm don't have uh, any atopic uh, history a compulsory atopic history but eczema will have some atopic history this is one important point to differentiate between eczema and tinea corporis the third condition to be differentiated Uh, with the tinea corporis which is uh, also a common condition you can see on your screen this is known as lichen simplex chronicus 
as you all know you can you can just demonstrate the lesion you can see that the lesion is hyperpigmented this is uh, the thickening of the skin is observed and uh, um, the skin markings are prominent in this case this is not a disease condition this is a response after repeated scratching so typically seen in ankles and some other regions where the patient scratches so this is a change after scratching so in tinea corporis you can see the expanding edges and erythematous lesion but here in this case it is it is a solitary lesion like tinea corporis this lesion is also solitary like the tinea corporis but classically hyperpigmentation thickening of skin and pronounced skin markings differentiates between tinea corporis and lichen simplex chronicus the last condition the fourth condition common condition to be differentiated with tinea corporis we have taken one component that is the red scaly lesion this is also a common condition which is of acute onset so you can see on your screen uh, that is this is known as uh, pityriasis rosea uh, so you can see the lesion very closely that uh, this is a oval shaped lesion typically appears on the tongue which is solitary lesion in the beginning so and you have you can see the scale which is arranged peripherally so this is a, this is classical for pityriasis rosea peripheral arrangement of uh, scales this is called colorate arrangement of scales this patch is known as herald patch and this could be prorheitic also later you can see on the screen this will spread this this uh, pinkish patch will spread all over the trunk the front and the back of the trunk so this is this is also prorheitic but this won't expand peripherally and the lesion is not centrally clear in this case so the colorate arrangement of scales and herald patch initially one patch this is the mother patch later development of all patches so this will differentiate between tinea corporis and pityriasis rosea so here are the four conditions to be differentiated very common conditions with tinea corporis psoriasis vulgaris chronic eczema which is of dry discoid variety which is of nummular eczema lichen simplex chronicus and pityriasis rosea these are the four conditions there are lot of conditions depending on the component you are taking from the condition so these are the four common conditions to be differentiated clinically in order to conclude the case as tinea corporis or any of the four conditions thank you very much